Congratulations on your purchase of the Drill Doctor Drill Bit Sharpener, the easiest and fastest way to keep your bits as sharp as new. Drill Doctor features a patented design that sharpens bits with the same motion used when bits are first made. And this design is so precise that bits can be sharpened hundreds of times. All Drill Doctor models sharpen standard twist and masonry bits from 3 30 seconds to 1 half inch. The Model 750X chuck will sharpen bits up to 3 quarter inch in size. This chuck may be purchased separately for the Model 500X. Your Model 500X or 750X can sharpen split point bits and you can control the point angle and the relief angle of the bit. And you can even sharpen left handed or reverse twist bits if you purchase the special chuck. Your Drill Doctor is constructed around a metal core for precise sharpening and splitting. Stay tuned to learn how to use your Drill Doctor to keep your bits factory sharp. The following tape includes sharpening demonstrations, a tour of the parts that make your Drill Doctor work, specific demonstrations showing how to sharpen small bits, large bits, and masonry bits, and cleaning instructions to keep your Drill Doctor running smoothly. How to sharpen with Drill Doctor. The Drill Doctor is easy to use. Only two simple steps will sharpen any bit. First, you align the bit. This makes sure the Drill Doctor creates the right geometry, and it sets the bit so that only a small amount of the tip is taken off. Then, you sharpen the bit. Additionally, with your Drill Doctor, you have the option to split the point of the bit. Now, watch as a bit is aligned, then sharpened. If you want, you can now split the point of the bit. That's all there is to sharpening bits with Drill Doctor. A tour of the Drill Doctor. The key parts to the Drill Doctor are the chuck, the alignment port, the sharpening port, and the splitting port. This is the chuck. These are the alignment guides. The chuck jaws that hold the bit. The chuck knob that tightens the chuck. The chuck cams that create the sharpening motion. The sharpening guides, or the white lines, for sharpening and the marks for aligning the masonry bit. Now look at the alignment port. These are the alignment notches with a 118 degree mark. These are the clamp arms. This is the drill stop. And this is the alignment button. When pushed in, it opens the clamp arms. This is the sharpening port. This is the cam guide. Note how the sharpening tube rocks back and forth. And this is the diamond sharpening wheel. This is the knob you loosen to adjust the point angle to a standard 118 degrees or a flatter 135 degrees. This is the metal splitting port. These are the guide rails. And this is the mark for aligning the chuck. This is the grit tube to prevent sparks from leaving the drill doctor. This is the cover you remove to replace the sharpening wheel. This is the material takeoff adjustment knob. Detailed demonstrations. Before sharpening, you should ensure that the point angle is set correctly. Set it to either a standard 118 degree or a flatter 135 degree point angle. In this example, we will use the 118 degree setting. If you have a model 750X, you will need to adjust the material takeoff knob before you begin. To set, turn the knob counterclockwise until it stops. Then, turn clockwise three marks on the knob. This is a good place to start for most bits. Step 1. Alignment. Insert the bit into the chuck jaws and close the jaws just to the point where the bit slides in and out. 
Press the alignment button down and hold it. Insert the chuck and match the alignment guide on the chuck with a 118 degree notch on the tube. Release the alignment button and make sure the bit is touching the drill stop. Look at your bit and make sure the clamp arms are in the bit's narrowest spot. If they aren't, turn the bit to the point that is held by the clamp arms in the narrowest width. This is important because this setting determines the angle at which your bit is sharpened. Then hold on to the chuck and tighten the chuck knob. Press the alignment button and remove the chucked drill bit. Tighten the chuck once more so that the bit won't move when you sharpen it. Consult your user's guide for additional alignment settings. Step 2. Sharpen. Insert the chuck and align either white line with a cam guide. Now rotate the chuck one half turn in a clockwise motion. Turn white line to white line an even number of times, about six half turns for a quarter inch bit and 16 to 20 turns for a 3 8 inch bit. Remove the chuck and inspect the bit. Listen carefully to the sound your drill doctor makes. Note that you should direct light pressure into the sharpening hole, not down and always make sure that the chuck rests firmly against the cam guide as you turn the chuck. This causes the sharpening port to rock back and forth and shapes your bit for the best cutting. Optional step, split the point. To split the point, do not remove the bit from the chuck after sharpening. Align the white line on the chuck with the mark on the splitting port. This will line up the alignment guide with the guide rails. Press chuck slowly and firmly into the splitting port until the chuck stops. Rotate one half turn and repeat. A correctly split bit should look like this.